so friends let's see the next example here this example is also based on composite bars so we have two aluminum and one steel support you can see here these yellow uh, bars are aluminum bars while this green bar is a steel bar and it supports a rigid platform of 250 kilo newton you can see here if the area of aluminum rod is 1200 mm square so each aluminum rod has the cross sectional area as 1200 mm square and the area of cross section of steel bar is 1000 mm square find the stresses developed in each bar or each pillar and they have also given us the Young's modulus of steel as well as Young's modulus of aluminum so now we'll be going with the same concept of the composite bar so let me start the solution so first of all let me write down the data available with us so in data we have got the length of aluminum so length of aluminum as 160 mm and length of steel as 240 mm the area of each rod of aluminum is 1200 mm square and the area of cross section of steel rod is given as 1000 mm square so the overall load is also given to us so we have also the modulus of velocity of aluminum that is e of aluminum as 1 into 10 raised to 6 newtons per mm square and e of steel you can see they have given as 2 into 10 raised to 5 newtons per mm square now if you look at the problem again so the overall load 250 is shared by all these three bars and as well as we are assuming that this block which is having the load remains horizontal so whenever it is deformed it is going to remain horizontal so deformation in, in each rod is going to be same right so we also have here the overall load the total load is given as 250 kN. so i'll write down 250 into 10 raised to 3 newton now how we can decide that whether the system is composite or not because the overall load is shared by all these three vertical bars and they are going to undergo same deformation due to the overall load so it is a system of composite bars so the overall load is shared by aluminum as well as the steel bar now you have to understand that in aluminum we have two bars so i am going to call this as two aluminum bars so pa is basically load shared by single aluminum bar so there are two aluminum bars so i am putting two times pa plus load shared by single steel bar so here kindly remember pa is load shared by single aluminum bar and ps is load shared by single steel bar okay so this is what we got the first, this is the first point we can say and the second point is the deformation in each bar that is deformation in aluminum bar is same as the deformation in steel bar so this is very important point to remember here so these two points are very important because the overall layer load is shared by all three bars and the deformations produced in each bar is going to be same so these two points are very important here okay so let's go for the calculation i will take equation one so from equation one i will get overall load is two times load shared by aluminum bar plus load shared by steel bar this can be further simplified the overall load is basically uh, 250 kilo so it is 250 into 10 raised to 3 and two times load shared by aluminum bar so load is nothing but we know that the stress is nothing but load over area so from here you get load equal to stress into area right so we'll be following this expression so two times stress in aluminum times area of cross section of aluminum plus now we have load shared by steel so stress in the steel times area of this steel like this we'll get so we have the area of steel which is uh, 1000 mm square and area of aluminum is 1200 mm square so the overall equation will be simplified as you can see here 250 into 10 raised to 3 that is the overall load equals to 2 times now area of aluminum is 1200 into stress in aluminum right plus now Sigma steel we don't know but area of steel is how much 1000 mm square so it is 1000 times present the steel if you simplify this equation you will get you can cancel out uh, 1000 here and from here also we can cancel out we'll get 1.2 and here we can cancel out we can use calculator also so if you simplify this you'll be getting 1.2 into 2 is going to be 2.4 sigma aluminum 
and already 1000 got cancelled out from both sides so you'll get sigma steel equals 250 this is my equation 3 this is the equation 3 similarly now from equation 2 i'm going to use equation 2 if you look at equation 2 we have elongation in aluminium is same as elongation in the steel but we know that the delta l that is elongation is nothing but load into length divided by area of cross section into modulus of velocity so we can always use this expression this particular expression to find out the elongation so i'm going to substitute that here so i'll be getting from here delta l in aluminium it is going to be load in the aluminium length of aluminium area of aluminium times modulus of elasticity of aluminium that is same as delta of steel that is load acting on the steel length of the steel length of the steel rod area of cross section of steel times modulus of velocity of steel now if i simplify this you can see from here we have got load divided by area here also we have got load divided by area so load by area is nothing but stress we have already done that earlier that stress is nothing but we already know that stress is nothing but load per unit area so i can use this also the second important okay so load upon area that is p by a is nothing but stress so stress in the aluminium you will have times length of aluminium rod so length of aluminium rod is 160 mm divided by we have uh, modulus of elasticity of aluminium which is 1 into 10 raised to 5 that equals again load on the steel divided by area of cross section of steel so it is stress in the steel times length of steel bar 240 and the modulus of velocity of steel is nothing but 2 into 10 raised to 5 so if you simplify this equation you will get sigma if you simplify this equation you will get sigma aluminium is 3 by 4 times sigma steel let me call this as fourth equation if you substitute the value of sigma a as 3 by 4 sigma s in this equation and you solve equation 3 and 4 so from equation 3 and 4 if you solve them okay so you can substitute sigma a as 3 by 4 sigma s in this equation so this equation would be simplified you will get from here sigma steel as 89.286 newtons per mm square and also if you substitute the value of sigma s in this equation so you will get sigma aluminium as 56.964 four newtons per mm square so this is the simple procedure we are going to adopt and these two conditions are very important so from these two conditions we can solve for two variables which is sigma s and sigma aluminium okay so this way you can solve the problem based on composite bar